I love this place. It's a little desolate part of the Kent coastline. What I like is that there's little shacks and little fishermen's huts, bits of broken down old boat, little landmarks of where people have been and made a footprint of who they are. Gradually that footprint's grown. Here behind me is Derek Jarman's house that he used to live in and he's made a garden full of pebbles and driftwood and bits of rusty old iron, things that he's found around on this beautiful piece of coastline here. What he did was make a very particular mark, his own footprint. In the same way that in the Stone Age we painted the walls of our caves, these shacks, in simple ways, represent the lifestyle and unique personalities of their inhabitants. I think of our footprints as our own personal brand. They represent who we are and how we choose to live our lives. They represent our integrity. If we try and fit our foot into someone else's print, it'll never feel quite right. So when we're developing our own leadership style, it's worth being aware of what our own print looks like, and more than that, how we want it to look. Or when we're looking at training the diverse talent in a workforce, we can use processes and models in a one-size-fits-all approach, and that's OK, but it's far more effective and empowering to work with the unique qualities, the strengths and character, the footprint of the individual.